I am Pops. I want to talk to you about the Department of Truth, a 22 issue comic book series that we now have confirmation that uh, is coming, is going to be adapted. Um, it has been picked up. Um, I believe it is headed um, over to Netflix, but I could be wrong. Uh, James Tinian did give us an update and said, yes, it is still coming. Writer's Strike is over. Expect it to be coming. And I will tell you what, this is one of these shows that if you are a big fan of uh, X-Files, I would say Men in Black, but there's a reference to Men in Black in one of the issues. I am not doing any spoilers on this one. If you love conspiracy theories, you love X-Files, you love that type of stuff, uh, it, it is also the perfect type of comic book that the leftists over in comic book world and Netflix and stuff would want to adapt. Like it's a uh, gay dude recruited who's working with a black girl boss. And uh, there's tons of references to like QAnon, Flat Earth, um, all of these sort of like right wing things that are very demeaned. Yet at the same time, let me tell you, it's okay when things are done well. Like it's not... How do I explain this? Because things things are demeaned, and yet I'm not um, put off. I want it, well, um, I shouldn't go ahead because I wanted to get to the art because the art is the biggest thing with the book. Um, anyway, I think it's going to be a really fun show. Um, I I really hope it's not on. That. I'm 99 sure it's Netflix, but I wish it was not Netflix because I wish it was like week by week. You know what I mean? Um. Because I think that is um, the best way to do a show like this. Because it would just be like something we're all talking about every single week, week after week after week. Um, but yeah, there's I'm trying to read that. I'm trying to find the older press release that tells me who has picked it up. I don't remember if it was. It could be HBO or something like that. But I don't think so. I think it was Netflix. Anyway, if there's a criticism of the comic, Martin Simmons' art is not going to be for everyone. A lot of the comic looks like this. It's got a very um, Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, Kurt Williams feel at times. So if you are into like more of like traditional 90s uh, McFarlane type artwork or things like that, and you know, a polished look and feel, this is not a book for you. Um, I thought about Sam and Twitch, which was in the Spawn verse. It has a lot of similar elements to that, but the the art also changes up readily based on the story. So there's a flashback sequence that ties up some conspiracy theories that go back into the Catholic Church, and all the art style and everything like changes for that. Then there's another flashback sequence that goes into something else. The art style changes completely for that. But in our main universe, uh, Simmons's art and this sort of like technique and approach is. Um, is a certain way. This is also, it's just, it's very graphic. It's very dynamic. It's very interesting. And um, I can just tell you, like, I, I can see this becoming um, a very, if, if, if it's done well, again, if just stick to the source material. What James tended was a great commentary on conspiracy theory, conspiracy theorists, government cover up, government misinformation, government manipulation of information doing dirty things like CIA op type dirty psyop stuff that, you know, black ops and stuff we would not want to believe our government does, but they do. Uh, I think it's just a fantastic read. I just a fantastic journey, um, through this. And, um, and there's so many characters that come into play. Like, I don't even know what's Hawk is fine. If I just mention the name, it doesn't really spoil anything, right? It's like, I'm just good. I think it's fine. Just know that's the case. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm just a big fan of this book. Um, I'm hopeful that this is, um, you know, an independent group that's going to be adapting it and bringing it on in. And that they will find a nice home for it and we'll get it onto a streaming service. Because I know that the group that's doing this, okay, I looked it up. Here we go. The group that's doing this also did uh, HBO's Chernobyl and Gangs of London. So one's on HBO, one's on AMC. So who knows where it will land. 
but that also lends itself well as far as like being good storytellers, good story adapters. So, but you can see how they change things up very dramatically for emotional impact and things that you experience. Um, different settings have different art styles and things like that. Um, so anyway, so that's my take on this this series. I don't want to give you too much um, beyond that because uh, I would want you to uh, enjoy it for yourself. Tell me what you guys think. Have you read this? Do you know much about it? Um, cause I have to be honest, I, I just, I had heard a lot about it, but I hadn't read it. And now that I'm knee deep in it, I can't wait to like, make sure I get through all of it and maybe go back and read something else again. <laughs> um, but I'm like, a, am just a nut for like weird conspiracy theory stuff and interesting dynamics and elements that are in everything. Um, Yeah. But you can just see, look at here, let me just share one more. Let me just share another cover. I think this is issue number eight. Just the cover alone sort of like gives me a moment that I want to, you know, I mean, it's like the flag is upside down on the hat, man in the black helicopter. You're just, you just feel like you're part of a universe that's being created and it has ties and feels of believability in our real world. And I think that is fascinatingly fun. That is a good time. So Department of Truth, have you read it? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on it being adapted? Because I feel like this is one that could do right just because it has a lot of woke elements in its nature. But it doesn't have all woke elements because it's more of a commentary about government behavior rather than us personally. Does that make sense? Like it does at times sort of like mock or discuss people who believe certain conspiracy theories, but then it also frames some of them in a positive light. So fascinating commentary, fascinating um, dialogue and interesting story. So love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I am Pops.